Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio and today we're going to be making an LED edge lit mandala light. This is a project that I wanted to try for some time now, especially after I saw some of the amazing work coming out of other Glowforge owners on the forum. For this project, I'll be using a base with an integrated LED strip on the inside of it that I got from Amazon. I'll also be linking this in the show notes below so that you can find a product that I use, but there are many of them on there, so you can also search around and find better deals or other bundles. The edge lighting kit comes with a base that looks something like this, where there's a slot, and inside of that slot is an LED strip that changes colors. It actually has different pre-function colors that you can change between using this remote that came with it. There's also this micro USB cord so that you can hardwire it in and turn the lights on and off. If you don't want to have this light plugged in all the time, this version here has an area where you can insert three AAA batteries and actually move it anywhere that you want around your house or bring it with you anywhere that you go. The last thing that the manufacturer sent me is an acrylic sheet that looks like this. It has a protective film on the front and a protective film on the back. When I'm ready to put the art that I come up with onto this surface, I'll be taking off one of these sheets here on one side and then I'll be putting it into my laser cutter, engraving the art onto it, taking it out, taking off the opposite side, and then inserting it into this slot here, just like that. Once you do this and you turn the light on, the way that it'll work is the light will go through the inside of the acrylic sheet, and it'll start to light up all of the engraved portions so that it stands out. I'll show you what that looks like later in this video when I'm done engraving the custom Manila art that I come up with onto this acrylic sheet here. So now that we've gone over the materials, I'll be sketching a custom mandala art in the next step and putting my logo in the center of it. Then I'll put that acrylic piece that I showed you earlier into my Glowforge laser cutter and I'll engrave that custom mandala art along with my logo onto the surface of that acrylic piece. Once the engraving is done, I'll take the acrylic piece and put it into the base, turn the light on and show you how it came out. So let's get started with sketching the mandala. <laughs>
So that's how I make this LED light with a custom manila engraving. From the beginning to the end of the project, it took about four hours because the manila itself took about two hours to sketch. And then setting up the file and cutting it and prepping it and putting it together like this took another two hours total. What's really cool about this particular fixture is that the remote here that came with it has so many pre-programmed colors in it, which I'll show you now. So if I wanted it to be red, I could just push the red button here and it'll turn red. And then there's a green button as well. So it'll turn green, a blue, and a white option. There are also different hues within each of those colors. So in blue, you can have this color blue and it can start to change to a lighter blue. It can be more of a purple. There's a plum color and then there's a pink color. In green, there are different hues of green. And then in red, there's different hues that change it to a yellow. There are also options to change it to make it flash, to make it strobe, to make it fade. Fading is essentially just going through all the different colors. And then there's smooth. This was a really fun project for me to work on and in the future I probably won't come up with a Manila art that's as detailed as this one. Because it came out so detailed and I shrunk it to fit onto this piece of acrylic, you can actually see that a lot of the lines that I sketched are now just merging into each other and it looks more like a big snowflake than it does a nicely detailed work of art. So the next time that I make this, if I have another detailed mandala that I want to engrave onto a piece of acrylic like this, I'll probably go through and just enlarge that mandala and start to crop it so that it fits, but also maintains the level of detail that I'm looking for. Overall, I love how this project came out and I was surprised by how well it looks in artificial lighting where I have it in my office and you can see that frosted look of it because the detailed lines that I had in my mandala sketch came together really closely when I scaled it down. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and remember to like, subscribe, and follow me for more.